going on guys? This is the Game Hunter channel with another episode Clash Royale and in this episode we have sneak peek number two Frozen pick two new cards in the game. Hope you guys are super excited. I'm super excited and before we start this episode I'm gonna say thank you to the developers of this game because they grant me access to this developer build of Clash Royale. This is not my real account. This is an account that I have only to make videos for you fellas. Now with the disclaimer complete, let me introduce you with the two new cards in Clash Royale. Number one, the Eye Spirit. One little spirit, <laughs> it's only one little spirit that actually looks like Pac-Man, frozen Pac-Man. <laughs> it costs only one elixir and the whole idea of this card is that you're gonna be able to freeze a group of enemies. Hmm. Stay frosty, my friends. Hmm. Really, really interesting card. It's gonna be a little bit difficult to master because you need to be super close to the units in order to freeze them. But uh, in general, it's a good addition to the game. Why? Because uh, I know a lot of people are saying, oh, well, we don't have the Ice Wizard. The Ice Wizard is probably the best card in the game, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I, I, I understand that legendaries are, are tough to get, and that's the whole idea of the legendary cards. So now you have an answer for them. You have a card that's only one elixir, which is called the Ice Spirit, which is going to allow you to freeze opponent. Not just slow down opponent, freeze opponent. Hmm. Okay, so we take a look to the stats. Is hit points just low? The area damage is not that great, so be careful with that. Freeze duration, two seconds. Hmm. And we can freeze air and ground unit. The advantage? That is very, very, very fast. And the range is 2.5 because once that is close to the opponent, it's gonna jump similar to the fire spirit once they target the opponent to freeze it completely. Hmm. Interesting, really interesting addition to the game. And this car is gonna be able to be unlocked at the frozen peak. But there is more. There is an epic car. You guys are ready? Let's take a look. Another familiar face. The Bowler. <laughs> we have another member of the Clash of Clans family that is going to join the Clash Royale world. And this is super amazing, super entertaining. Six Elixir. Six Elixir, fellas. Wow. So this dude is going to be similar to the Royal Giant, just to give you an example. He's going to throw rocks, and those rocks, those boulders are going to start bouncing and knocking down enemies <laughs> they're gonna push them back it's so cool i cannot wait to show you some of the gameplay using the bowler so this is gonna be another interesting car that we're gonna be able to use once they reach the frozen pick uh let's take a look to the stat a lot of hit points because it's another tank damage per second 80 area damage 200 hit speed 2.5 seconds target ground only ground Speed slow. Slow. Be careful with that. Range of five. Deploying time one second. Okay. Those stats, of course, can change depending on the level of your car. And also, uh, you know, they never, when they release a new patch, there is always a possibility that they can change the stats of the car before releasing that patch. Right. So these are the basic stats of the bowler. We got the ice spirit. We got the bowler. What are we waiting for? Let's go to the frozen pick. Let's go to the frozen pick for battle number one against my friend Dangerous Thing. Okay, so here we go. Skeletons, Goblins, Ice Spirits, and also Valkyrie. She is gonna use the Princess, Ice Wizard, Musketeer, and Archers. Let's see what we're gonna do. We're gonna start probably pushing from the right side. This is a combination that probably is gonna get really popular. Uh, I know a lot of people likes to use the Valkyrie and the Royal Giant. I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna get super familiar with the Valkyrie and the Bowler together, okay? Let's put some Skeletons to come to the Musketeer and also the Princess. And now it's time for us to start pushing forward. And look at the Bowler! <laughs> look at the Bowler! <laughs> that rock is pushing back the poor knight. The poor knight hasn't stood a chance. And now we're gonna start pushing with a new and improved Goblin Barrel, only three elixirs. It's definitely gonna be one of those cards that's gonna make a huge, huge, huge comeback in the game. First tower down. Bowler is so, so, so powerful. You have to bring that dude down as soon as possible. 
We have a knight is coming. Ice Wizard is gonna counter. Let's see if we can use probably Skeleton to bring the knight to the middle of the map. Perfect. Awesome. And you gotta be ultra careful with the Ice Spirit, okay? I'm noticing the some of the strategies for the Ice Spirit, for example, are if you see that a Hog Rider is attacking your tower or the giant is getting close to your tower, you can deploy the Ice Spirit right in front in order to freeze that unit. For example, right now my Ice Spirit is right there. But it was too far away from the boulder, so you have to be super precise. It's a card that I, well, like I said, when people probably, when you guys saw the card for the first time and saw it, it's like, a, okay, only one elixir? What? That's super cheap. Well, 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 well. You have to be really good in order to use that card, okay? Ultra precise when and where is the perfect time to deploy the ice spirit. I would recommend you to use a combination similar. Remember the, the, the way that you deploy the Valkyrie? Sometimes you wait for the opponent to get close to you. So you can deploy the Valkyrie kind of like in the middle. Well, that combo is going to probably work out really well, which is the uh, ice spirit plus Valkyrie. That could be deadly, fellas. That could be deadly. Okay, you see my ice spirit right now is completely freezing the poor ice wizard. And the princess, and now we're gonna start pushing with the bowler from the left side. Musketeer going down. Goblins are taking care of business. Look at the bowler. The bowler is so cool, man. Let's put some guard in front, Valkyrie in there, and we're good to go. Like I said, the only problem with the bowler is that it's super slow, number one. And number two, it's only gonna be able to attack ground units. So be careful with that. Bowler right there. Similar, similar to the deployment that we use with the Royal Giant. So that is one of those cards that's gonna get really popular. I, I got I got a feeling that the bowl is gonna be one of those cards that's gonna push it right away to the top. It's gonna be super, super popular, and I cannot wait to start playing with my account and hopefully be able to unlock that card as soon as possible. Let's go for battle number two. Let's go back to the frozen pick. Right now we're gonna fight against my friend Wicked YouTube, Wicked Gaming. And uh, we're going with the bowler, goblins, Valkyrie, Skeleton. He's gonna be using the Ice Spirit, <laughs> the Goblins, the Bowler, and the Musketeer. Okay, this is gonna be tough, man. <laughs> that combination that he's planning to use, Giant and Bowler, that will be interesting to see. I really wanna see how that combo is gonna work. Both units are super slow, they move well together. Unfortunately, um, the Bowler show up a little bit late to the party. My guards are already taking, they already take care of the, the Giant. So it shouldn't have any problem. I'm gonna start pushing with the Valkyrie, with the Boulder, and also with a beautiful and improved Goblin Barrel. That, they completely disappeared. Seriously? Wicked? What's going on with you? <laughs> All right, let's start pushing from the left side. This is gonna be tough. This combination, Musketeer, Princess, and Boulder. Ooh, man, and Rage? Are you kidding me? Dude, <laughs> Mercy? There's no Mercy ruling here. And now let's see if the Boulder can do something in a counterattack. Can probably put some guards that combo works really well guards in front boulder after the giant is there look at the boulder boulder is not gonna target buildings they're gonna target any units so that's actually quite useful it's not the classic tank it's not like at the giant it's not like at the royal giant the boulder is gonna attack whatever is in the area okay whatever is in the area which is good which is good you can throw the rock and do damage to a lot of units if they are located in the same line okay lady Good night. No, 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 no. Don't bother us. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Gonna start pushing right now with the Musketeer, with the Ice Wizard. Let's see if we can have enough energy or elixir to deploy one more time the boulder. We can probably start with the boulder from behind. Oh, here comes the giant again. Wow. Boulder's gonna be interesting on defense, too. <laughs> That's another little detail. And we have to pay attention to that. The giant is going to go down because I got my guards, my skeletons, and also the boulder. And I'm not really sure how we're going to come back from this one. That boulder, if we reach my base, I'm completely done. But we're going to deploy the goblin barrel from behind. Trying to do some damage. Oh, he froze me. <laughs> he froze me with the ice spirit from behind. Okay, that's fine. But in the meantime, we are pushing super, super hard. With a boulder and also second boulder joining the party. The tower is down. Sweet. And let's see how we're going to stop that giant. The giant is really close to the base. Look at the ice spirit. Look at the ice spirit. How useful. If you deploy that car at the right time, it's super, super useful. You notice, guys? The giant was directly pointing at my tower. 
and without the ice tower, I mean without the ice spirit, there is no way I can survive that attack. Wow! That's probably the best way that I have to show you the power of the ice spirit. So that's this in the game, Hunter. Hope you guys enjoyed this sneak peek number two. I will see you in the next episode of Clash Royale. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my videos. Take care, everybody.